Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to create and add properties to a cart in Matrix. Now, before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same. And for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so for anyone who's unfamiliar with carts, they're essentially a repository to store properties in until you're actually ready to use them. For example, if I'd like to create a collection of properties from multiple searches, then I'm able to select each property from those searches and then add them into a cart. And once they've all been added, I can then choose exactly what I'd like to do with them. So let's go ahead and select a handful of properties from our current search. Next, I'm going to select the Carts option from the Actions panel. And you'll notice that when I do this, I currently have a couple of carts available to add these properties to. But for this example, I'll be collecting properties from my client, Dwayne. So let's go ahead and create his very first cart. And we'll do this by selecting the Add Cart option. Next, I'm going to describe this cart by giving it a mandatory label. Now, this can be something as simple as the client's name, or what their cart's actually being used for. Now it's recommended if you're creating a cart for a specific client that you always associate it with that contact. And the reason for this is so that all of your client's carts can be organized and easily accessed from within their contact page. And remember, each contact can have multiple carts, so you're able to allocate properties to them according to their intended purpose. Now, it's worth mentioning that if you simply want to add properties to a general cart for yourself, feel free to just add a name to the cart and leave the contact field empty. But again, for this example, we're going to be adding properties to Dwayne's cart. So let's go ahead and save our cart and then add our selected properties. And you'll notice that when we do this, the badge now displays that there are four properties saved to the cart. Now, I mentioned earlier that one of the primary reasons to use a cart is so that you can collect properties from multiple searches. So let's go ahead and regenerate some of my recent results. And again, I'm going to do the exact same thing and select some properties and then select the actions drawer and add to my client's cart. And you notice that our cart now contains a total of seven properties, which we can view by selecting the name of the cart. And from here, in addition to removing any of your currently selected properties, you now have the option of using your predefined actions, such as printing, emailing, adding to CMA comparables, or any of the other tools that you typically associate with your general search results. But for this example, remember, we're going to create driving directions. So with the selected properties that we'd like to visit, we're going to choose directions from the actions drawer which of course we can now send as an email to our client. All right, and finally, if you'd like to access or manage each of the carts that you've created, there are a few different places to connect to them. The first is from the My Carts panel, located on your dashboard, where you're able to view a collection of all of the carts that you've created or just one of your most recent. Next, you're also able to find all of the carts in the My Carts section, located under My Matrix. And from here, simply expand the cart that you'd like to access, then select Settings to rename this cart, Results to view the properties inside of it, or Delete to remove it altogether. And the final way to access a cart is directly from your client's contact page. And again, this is why it's important to associate a brand new cart with the contact that you're creating it for. So let's go ahead and select our client, Dwayne. And then from the Carts tab, expand the cart that you'd like to manage. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.